German speaking for another video. Last week I spent in um, Deutschland. I was playing some banjo with uh, Inspector Hardy. We were traveling around NRV. This movie that you're gonna see right now, it's about my last last night in Essen. That besides the music, I had uh, the pleasure to see some of my friends, some of my German family. Here are some Stiele for fucking first time since the last three three months. Hello. Such a cute Indian girl. <laughs> Checking you on Facebook. Yeah. You are like on world trip. When are you leaving? Tomorrow from Kion. Why are you coming back? I don't know. <laughs> See you. Yeah. Oh. See you, man. Oh. Hey, Trisha. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. There's not really much light, but I used to live here. And now it's so weird coming here again. Now I'm gonna go surprise my friend Ozan. Come in, come in. What's up, man? Oh, great. Oh, great. Hey, how are you doing, guys? All right, all right. This is weird. I was in Sweden for a little bit, and he came, uh, like, on a trip on his own, Uzan. Yes. Like, a few days after I left, something yes. like this happened, and Sweden was perfect. <laughs> you went skinny dipping, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you know nothing? Yeah, you jump in the lake? Yes, of course. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> the show was so good. We're it's trying. Weird. We're trying. We're yeah. pushing ourselves. That's nice to see you, man. That's nice to see you too. Shit! Oh, it's coming through. It's by the way. It's nice, it's nice, yeah. Woo! After this, I met up with my friend Petty. He's just a crazy guy and didn't see him for a while. This guy, fuck, <laughs> no way, <laughs> fuck, Petty, <laughs> fucking long time. Yeah, man, you look the same. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, jump in, let's go. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the fields, right there. Just a basic expression what we're gonna do. Betty, you wanna say? Yeah, we, we're gonna start we're gonna start the fireworks in this direction and we're gonna stand there under the fireworks where we get filmed and hopefully not get shot. <laughs> or not burning the camera. Uh, we don't know the, the exact trajectory, but this is uh, part of the experiment. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Alright. I, I need to get my focus on a person. It looks beautiful. Alright. Maybe the first one will shoot a little bit low. Oh, 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 maybe, maybe high. Oh, and oh. in front of the camera. Oh shit! Yeah. Woo. What up, man? You you have to to make the most out of every moment, you know. Even even sometimes if you if you had if if you you made the moment took the moment and and make make it perfect and and uh, still and you, and you experienced all of that. You sometimes you you don't uh, see this as much as you should. Often you just have to be remem remembered. Um, there was this crazy conversation I told you about um, with a patient of mine, an old an old man that 
um, got a got a heart attack and uh, wasn't able to, to to speak, to move, to do anything, anything. Yeah. It wasn't it was it was unable to to do uh, um, normal things in life without yeah. help. And um, we have helped him, and uh, we we trained together, and. He got better and better. He learned to speak again. He learned to eat. He learned to walk. And um, at some moment, he I was asking him about some photos in his um, in his room, and he was telling me that he he once he, uh, he traveled the world and saw some places uh, he always wanted to see uh, a few years ago before the heart attack. And yeah, he he. he been to, to he made crazy experience like he was in New Zealand in Australia in America and uh, he told me about it and then was this this second second uh, plan he had he wanted to see the the other side of the world um, and he was um, working all the time and um, earning money and saving money to um, for for this journey and. And then, then the heart attack came out, yeah, and then he wasn't able to to do any of it. It it was like he had had everything, the time and the money, but he wasn't he hadn't he, he wasn't able. It was was like crazy, was mindfuck, because you wait too much in your life. You just wait for everything. In, in Germany, Germany, there is a phrase um, goes like my 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 Leben ist ein Geschenk eingepackt in Warteschleifen. My life is a present wrapped in in um, pauses, like something like this. Um, yeah, you don't need to wait. You just have to take everything you get and. Be there, make it, and experience it right now where you have the, the opportunities. Even if, if it's, if it's uh, hard for you, if you're struggling for money or stuff like this. And yeah, it was a crazy story. It gets in my head all the time when I think about if I should do something or, or not. or should wait because it's it's too dangerous it's too too scary and too big and maybe it's better to to learn more and do a safer way and uh, fuck it man it's just one time where you can experience some something something yeah. and then it's gone maybe yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's like a fundament you build with with every experience and all the things you you buy and the, um, it's just attachments and they doesn't ha get you anywhere they they make the moment better or make it easier to remember the moment mm -hmm. what's the most important part I guess uh, but you have to to experience them um, the moments on your own and yeah don't wait so much man yeah
will make a promise to yourself and then you need to make that promise to make that promise happen.